Hey Charlotte, how are you doing? We're in China and digital life is already a reality here. I took some noodles, I bought an ice cream, paid for my hotel, and I even booked a karaoke session. All of that on WeChat. Well, actually you can. As a matter of fact, I just ordered a latte. Welcome to this new episode of our 360 world tour. Welcome to China. As you know, China is one of the most digitally advanced countries in the world with a fully integrated digital ecosystem that affects nearly all aspects of everyday life, including business, of course. Hence, what could be a better place than China to explore how digital technology can be leveraged to make construction more sustainable? There is just no better place. So, in order to understand how digitalization is affecting the way we work, we are here in Shanghai at the regional office of Saint-Gobain. Here, digital technology is not just a way to improve business or to open new business opportunities. It is also about creating solutions for a more sustainable future. Peter, digitalization here is not just a tool, it's really a way of life. How is the construction sector adapting to this? We are seeing a digital renaissance. Customers expect real-time updates, one-click services, mm -hmm. and full visibility across the value chain. That's why Shengban started to build up fully unified, integrated digital ecosystem. Tell us about that digital platform of Sangoban. That sounds really impressive, and you actually invented this, right? Yes, you're right. We built the only fully integrated digital ecosystem in China's materials industry. This platform is fast, reliable, and uh, customer centric. Can you show me? Sure, you can. Yeah. Let's, so let's go. Oh, and here it is. Yeah, you can see in here. This province, we have so many cities, which means Singapore already has a very good market in here. All right. We have different color to measure the different market, allocate our results, mm -hmm. how to reduce the logistic cost, okay. and how to catch the emissions. Everything we can do in here. All right, so you have the emissions as well on yeah. the map. Peter, this is what you see at Singapore, but yeah. I assume this is not what the customers see. Actually, we can share this uh -huh. with our customer to convince them together with us. All right. We have strategic partner. With such a powerful backbone in place, how does the digital shift transform the operations on the ground and affect the manufacturing process? To find out, we are now in Yangzhou and we're going to enter the plant of Saint-Gobain. Can you please walk us through the changes that digital tools have made to the manufacturing process here? Our Could you please also explain how digital tools can help reduce the environmental impact of the manufacturing process? Brilliant, thank you, Yanmei. Thank you, thank you. Ying, you're a specialist of logistics. How do you experience these improvements on the field? Uh, now we need to speak about this truck. It's a beauty and it's an electric truck, right? Tell us about that. 电能车通常我们是在市区内。电能车是我们为了降碳新的尝试，也是一个大胆的尝试。我们在投入使用后，呃，已经看到了一个很好的一个成效。也希望在未来能够更大力度的去普及它。What does this end-to-end transformation mean for the customers? We shall now meet with one of them here in Zhengzhou to understand how it has changed the way they work as well. Can you tell us a little bit about the concrete benefits that you've observed since you switched to full digital? This 
，早上下单，下午交货，这个之前至少需要两到三天。公司现在说的话系统这个地图，这个清楚的让我们看到，在就是通过公司这个地图清楚看到，在整个河南省哪些区域是点亮了，哪些区域是空白的，是没有点亮的。没有点亮的，就是我们下个月的重点要去重点开发。我们通过这个地图给我们销售带来非常大的帮助。这个因为没有说的话平台之前，我们是自己找车，都是油车，然后很多货从盛邦的工厂到我们仓库，我们的仓库再到客户仓库，这中间有其实很多时间是浪费的。现在就是从盛邦工厂到客户端直接都过去了，节省了很多时间和距离。然后并且现在都是电车。所以，所以来讲，说的话平台这个物流到今天为止，对节能减排起到了非常，包括低碳起到了非常大的作用。And alas, we're already coming to the end of this episode, where we've seen really how digital innovation could help make construction not just smarter but also more sustainable. Next month, we bring you to the most populated country on earth. India to see how sustainable construction could meet demographic challenges. So stay tuned, always with the same purpose in mind to make the world a better home.